here we have a early 19th century microscope that Charles Darwin looked through and it is just incredibly spine tingling to look through this and see the microscopic world that Darwin would have seen in the 1820s and 30s. Yeah, in the 1820s, he probably would have used a microscope to be looking at tiny little microscopic organisms called zoophytes. But then, much later in his life, in 1858, there's a wonderful letter that he writes to his eldest son, saying that young Lenny was dissecting at his microscope. He said, oh, papa, I shall be so glad of this for my whole life. So just, it's wonderful to have that family connection of Charles Darwin, just before he becomes internationally famous, teaching his youngest son the principles of microscopy. And there is a really intriguing handwritten list inside the box of the microscope of the original specimens prepared by Carey that would have been sold with it. Uh, so the microscope originally came with a slide that had a flea, the human hair on it, the sting of the bee, and it, it would have been used to just see the, the microscopic world in the 19th century. So Charles Darwin is one of the biggest names in the history of science and collectors for Darwiniana are truly international in breadth. We anticipate heated bidding for this from multiple countries uh, on the 15th of December here at Christie's and it carries an auction estimate of 250 to 350,000 pounds.